What are tags on Twitch? How do you use them? What is the difference between tags that streamers choose and tags that are category specific? But first, let me introduce you to our sponsor, Own.pro. On Own.pro, you can get your own overlay packs. They have a lot of choices. Look at this list. They got this one. But if you're into something else, you can also choose this one. You can change them around as much as you would like. So no happy with one, go for the other one. And you know what the coolest thing about this is, guys? With the code TRUE, you'll get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. Okay, so tags, where can we find them? We're going to twitch.tv and then here if we go to browse, we see a lot of channels. If we click on live channels, we see a lot of people that are live. Right now it's like high viewers first, so these people are like huge streamers. As you can see underneath here, we have drops enabled, English and eSports. English here is the language tag. It's not one of the normal tags, but this is just the language you set your stream to. Then here we have drops enabled. I'm not sure if you automatically get that if you have drops enabled or if that's one of the tags that you have to choose yourself. Let me go to a category. Let me say Fall Guys. Fall Guys is an action platformer indie game, sports game, party game. So these tags up here are tags that are specific to Fall Guys. Everybody in this category will fall under these tags because this is what Fall Guys already is. So if you stream Fall Guys, these tags your stream will fall under. As we see here, this person has put in the tags challenge run and speed run. We can also search tags here, for example, playing with viewers, playing with viewers. As this game is multiplayer, we're gonna find a lot of people that are playing with viewers. So this is the tag playing with viewers and we can search a streamer that we like to play with because these people have said that they play with viewers, right? <laughs> we can also go to browse back and go to live views here and we can also search here playing with viewers. So now we get all streams that have playing with viewers in it and have English because I have the English tag selected here as well. So now we don't have a specific game but all games where streamers are playing with viewers. So what tags are available to search? Basically anything you can think of. We used to have the system where Twitch would recommend you tags. So like if I would type something here, then it would autofill, but it doesn't autofill anymore because we have custom tags now. So you can have whatever you want. But I assume that most streamers are still going for the tags that used to be in the old tag system. There were quite a lot of them, so I'm not gonna name them, but try and see which tags are being used by a lot of streamers. And those are probably the ones that you best can filter by because those give the most results. Okay, so how do we set these tags as a streamer? We go to the top right and then go to create a dashboard. Here we see my create a dashboard. You can edit the stream information by clicking on edit stream info here. This pop-up will come up. Or if you have a different layout, for example, this one, you might have the stream info panel already open right here and you can set the information here. We have the stream title going live notification, category. As you see here under the category, we've got simulation, indie game, strategy, party. This is for overcooked. And you can see that these tags, because these are tags, are game specific. If we would change the game down here, you will see that this starts ch changing as well. So now we put it to just chatting and that category has the tag IRL. So this automatically gets assigned to your stream. As long as tags are still new, we have this learn more button here. It will bring us to a twitch.help page, guide about tags down here. I'll leave the link to this page underneath in the description if you want to read more about it. As you see, you can use them on the channel page, in the discovery page and in search. So we searched it. We've also seen it in the discovery page, which is the browse page. And we have also seen it on the people's channels. Ah, so here we have the answer. Automatic tags, for example, the drops enable. So that means that if you enable drops, this tag enable drop will automatically be assigned to your stream. It says three types of tags here, custom tags. Those are the ones that you have to type in yourself. Category tags, we just talked about it, that come with the game or category and automatic tags like drops enabled and also the language you're speaking on stream. Okay, and if we go further, we have tags here and this is a section where you can put the tags in. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> that just came in. And as you see, I have put some tags in here. The maximum amount of tags you can use is 10. I know it says zero out of 25, but if you type, you see that the typing is actually how many characters a tag can have is 25. You see one of my tags is Coop. 
And I don't mean chicken coop. This is actually co-op. However, you're not allowed to use a dash. So if you want to write co-op, you need to write it as coop. Same with family friendly, we can't have a space in there. So you can basically think of any tags you want and type them in here. Kind of like in YouTube where you can think of your own tags and put them underneath your video. This is the stream language. This is a tag. English you will get automatically. If you put it in a different language, you will have a different one pop up automatically. Twitch doesn't recognize your language, so you have to set this manually because it doesn't know which language you're speaking. So what are the best tags you can use on your stream? I would say playing with viewers is a pretty big one because a lot of people are searching for streamers to play with. LGBTQIA plus one is also a big one because there's a lot of people searching for a safe space and this might be a reason for them to watch your stream. Maybe the country you're from. Some people really like the few other people from the same country. Or maybe Europe, as you might have around the same time zone, so you know that you won't be streaming overnight. <laughs> like we have here, birthday is a pretty good one. It was Tom's birthday, not mine, by the way. <laughs> but birthday is actually a good one because people might want to congratulate you. I've put in a Switch because I played on the Nintendo Switch. So that is something that people might be searching for Switch games. Try and keep in mind which things you think your viewers would enjoy about your stream and trying to make tags about those things that you think people would enjoy and why they would come into your stream. And if you don't know why people want to watch your stream, I highly recommend coming up with a niche. If you don't know what a niche is and you want to learn more about what it is, because it is really important, I'm just saying already, Hop with me into this video where I explain you what a niche is and how you can get one. I'll see you there.